Hello friends, welcome to Signus Tutorials. Today we are going to look at how to solve the most common Android error that says unfortunately application name has stopped. So in place of application name, it could be any of your application. It could be a YouTube or it could be an uh, uh, your gaming application. It could be anything. So we will see how to fix this error. So as you can see the first step which we are going to try is to clear cache and data and then reboot your device. So I will show you how we can do that. In Android device go to settings. And you can uh, possibly clear cache in uh, I would say three easy methods. One is, one is clearing out the data for all the applic applications, I mean clearing out the cache for all the applications altogether. And then you can clear cache by getting into the specific application and clearing out the cache for that application. And then the third option you could use uh, an automatic cleanup programs that would uh, do the required job. So I will show you all three of them. So first we will try to clear up the cache of all the applications all together. So for that under settings you have to get into storage and uh, there you have cached data. So once I click cached data, so now the system is asking for a confirmation whether uh, you would like to clear the cache data. So click OK. So this is one way of clearing out the cache data. And the second option is to get into the application one by one. So under settings click on apps or applications and uh, there also you could choose the particular uh, application that creates this error message. For example if Adobe is creating, Adobe Reader is creating this error, click on Adobe Reader and uh, there you have option to clear cache. So you could use that as well. And third option that you can use uh, automated cleaning application. So we have lot of free applications that could uh, do this job. So I'm going to show you the one which is called uh, Clean Master. So you can use your own application, whatever you you are interested in. So you can uh, clear up the junk files by getting into junk files. Now it would automatically scan for uh, the files, system files or uh, the cache files which are not required. So you can click clean junk. So now it have, it have freed up some space. So you can come out of, out of the application. So this way you can uh, clear up the cache data and the second one is uh, to clear up the data for that particular application. So similarly you can get into settings and under settings go to app or application and choose the application that creates this error. For example if you get this error for clean master you can open the clean master application and uh, there you have clear data. So click on clear data and the, the data relevant to the clean master has been removed. So if you get this error for YouTube, you do the same thing for YouTube, Go get into YouTube and click on clear data for YouTube. Then come out. As I said, uh, after you doing it, just try rebooting your device. So you can uh, press the power key and hold it so that you will uh, show you how I'm getting it so you can uh, press and hold the power key so that you will get option for reboot and once you click on reboot your system will be rebooting so after doing that Try to install the application that you were getting error earlier. 
so if it is still not working we have to uh, try try out our second option so our second option is to update the app if updates are available in play store so get into play store and search your application name for example if uh, facebook is creating a problem search facebook So once you get into the Facebook and you could see option for uninstall and update. So when you see option for update that means a, a newer version of the Facebook or the application is available at Play Store. So if that is the case click on update and uh, the Play Store will automatically download the updates and uh, reinstall the application. So once you do that you can uh, try opening up the application hopefully you will not get that error again so in case if it is still not working we have to try out our third step so our third step is to uninstall and reinstall the application and uh, i will show you how you can uh, uninstall and reinstall choose the application and uh, hold it i will show you in the screen give me a second you have to get into applications and choose the application that is creating problem so i'm going to show you how you can do it for facebook click on facebook and don't take off your hand just hold it you will be getting option for uninstall and up information so you have to just drag the facebook application to uninstall and take off your hand now it's going to ask you for a confirmation to uninstall this application so you can click okay and uninstall the application and after uninstallation is complete you can go to play store and search for the application that you uninstalled and reinstall it again So in place of uninstall you will get install and you can click on install and install the application so this time you you maximum you will not get this error for the worst case if you still get that error we have the fourth option which is to re factory reset your phone so i generally don't recommend doing it unless you terribly want to fix this error so i'm not going to show you how to factory reset in this video so i will uh, post the link link of the video in which you it will be shown for a uh, factory reset steps other than that you can try out these three steps 99 percentage of the error that you are getting will get resolved and uh, for a third step you can also try uninstalling the pre-installed application so some of some of you may be facing issues in uh, uninstalling a preloaded applications so for that also i'm going to post you a link in my description video description so you can refer that as well and try it I hope this video is helpful please share your comments and suggestions thank you for watching i will meet you in my next video